As we finish off 2021, it looks like Bitcoin Cash is heading right back where we started. Price seems to be heading back down towards that yearly open level. Uh, Bitcoin Cash did have a nice run throughout 2021. It went all the way up into that $1,600 range in May. And since then, price has been in a pretty deep correction now, and it's in that $500 range. It continues to break major support levels, and I did have them wrote down as prices that really needed to hold. Now things are not really going exactly as planned for Bitcoin Cash in 2021. And just to top that off, it lost its spot within the top 10 cryptos. But regardless of any of that, we're still going to keep you guys updated on what's been happening with the price action since it is one of the main tradable cryptocurrencies on the currency.com platform. So may I have your attention as I give you my 2021 end of year prediction for Bitcoin Cash. <laughs> Good to see you here. What's up? It's John with Currency.com. And I'm not too happy with how Bitcoin Cash has been performing in 2021. It is one of the main cryptos that we have talked about here on the channel. We are one of the main channels on YouTube that have kept people updated with what's been happening. And even if things are not looking good right now, I still think 2022 can be a better year. And Bitcoin Cash would still have a chance to head up towards those highs at $1,000, possibly even 2021 high of 1,600 range. And as we get to the end of the year, we've been giving you guys these 20 2021 price predictions. So Bitcoin Cash is one of them. And here it is. Make sure if you are enjoying this video at any time, just take two seconds, just hit that thumbs up button. It's right below. And that does really help out the channel a lot. You guys don't realize that. Showing love to the channel helps us out in the YouTube algorithm. So more and more people just like yourself can find more videos like we have, keeping people updated and giving you guys more realistic outlooks uh, in terms of crypto prices. And this video is going to be similar to what we talk about usual, the sentiment, support and resistance levels, but I'm going to look at things on a wider range. And then I will give you guys a little bit of an overview of what happened for Bitcoin Cash in 2021. And then we jump into the currency.com platform. And that's where I'll give you a bullish price targets uh, for things on the upside towards the end of 2021 and bearish price targets, uh, things to the downside and how I see each target playing out. And then on my overall opinion, on which direction that I see the price heading most likely based on what's currently happening uh, with the price action. Now, no more talking for me. Let's jump right into it. So now for this part of the video, I'm going to go over important price levels to look for for Bitcoin Cash, either towards the upside resistance levels and the downside support levels. First, we're going to talk about support. The first level I do have here is that $500 range. Uh, price is pretty close to that right now. And that was the June monthly support range. And if that price level does not hold, we pushed down, then I got $380 and that brings us right back towards that June and July lows, right where the price wicked down. And then we have $350, which is a very major support level for Bitcoin Cash, which marks a yearly open range for 2021. If Bitcoin Cash does head back to that level, we can't expect some buyers to come in. But if we do start trending below, that is not a good sign. But that does open up a buy to dip opportunity and an even higher bounce to come in 2022. And currently right now from the price level that we're at, if we start pushing up and don't even head down towards those support levels, I do have the first resistance at about $560 in Q1 of 2021. That was a major resistance in the beginning of the year. And it also did serve as a support level in May when we had that major correction. The next resistance, $620. And that range right now is the 21 and 50 day moving average. And then after that, I got at about $670, which marks a really major price range uh, if we do break past that, because that is the 200 day moving average. And if Bitcoin Cash can cross that towards the upside, then we will see a new bullish trend for Bitcoin Cash potentially later on this year, or that could happen sometime in early 2022. But we'll keep you guys updated as we get closer to those price levels. Let's move on to the next section of the video. And if you do want to take a look at more analysis that we have here, just head over to our channel, currency.com. We do have plenty of videos for you guys to have a look at and stay updated with what's happening uh, for the top cryptos. And I'm hoping we can reach 25,000 subscribers uh, by the end of the year. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And as well, if you want to be even more connected with myself, uh, head over to Twitter and you can find my Twitter handle. Just search at Real John Doe and follow me there as well. Now, first thing, let's have a look at the trader sentiment for Bitcoin Cash right now on currency.com. It does show here 88% buyers, 12% sellers. The price is sitting towards the low of the day. So we'll see how that plays out as cryptos are starting to look like they are having a bounce at this level. Let's have a look here and find Bitcoin Cash on coinmarketcap.com. It is right here 
number 17. The current market cap right now, $9.7 billion, $5.8 billion in 24-hour volume. And as you can see, past seven days, a lot, pretty much all the cryptos are down with Bitcoin Cash down about 18%. So over the years, Bitcoin Cash was one of the main topics of discussion when you talked about crypto. And now in 2021, it looks like it did lay low and Bitcoin Cash was under the radar a bit while other altcoins started to shine. Bitcoin Cash has lost quite a bit of its dominance. There has been a bit of drama over the years for Bitcoin Cash, whether it is the original Bitcoin, also the hash wars that happened uh, in the end of 2018 with Craig Wright and Roger Ver. And you could even say Bitcoin Cash was the reason why uh, Bitcoin and crypto had a major correction uh, there in the end of 2018. But look where Bitcoin Cash is at now. It's 2021. We're still talking about it. The view on it is a little bit different. It did lose its spot among the top 10 cryptocurrencies. And there has been more and more forks happening and issues happening. So miners and the community has been slowly dividing. But I think as long as Bitcoin Cash stays to its original plan, uh, being similar, pretty much identical to Bitcoin as a peer to peer payment, it will stay around. And it could be even because it has faster speeds in Bitcoin and lower fees fees and it pretty much is Bitcoin. And to top that off, one of the largest world financial companies, PayPal, even added adoption for Bitcoin Cash in the past year. And it seems like more and more are coming on board uh, because they do put Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, Litecoin, all in the same category. So in terms of price for Bitcoin Cash, it started off the year uh, right in that $350 range. It picked up, had a massive run up to about $1,600. And now price has had a major correction uh, down about 70%. And currently right now, the price does not seem like it has found a support. So there could be more downside to come. So first right here, this is the Bitcoin Cash daily chart. And as you can see, I did have this major support level marked here that we had for May. But look at that price did break down. Now we are trading right above this next support at about $500. And throughout 2021, Bitcoin Cash had a nice clean run up. You can see the price the year started here and then we started breaking new highs making higher lows and higher highs, consolidating and breakouts after breakouts. And all of that bullish price action couldn't really find a support level up above $1,000, up above those highs. And price came crashing down from that all-time high range, $1,600, all the way down to about $500, which gave it about a 70% drop uh, in a matter of days. And now if you take a look at Bitcoin Cash since that big drop, price has been trying to hold off this support level at about $500. It did come down and break down uh, where it did have a double bottom and bounce from that level uh, in the middle of July. And it did go on a pretty good run right up here to about $800, uh, which was about 90% or so. And currently with the price action of Bitcoin Cash, if you see price is trading below the 200, the 50 and the 21 day moving average, indicating that price is in a downtrend. And this rejection of the highs was a major indication and price making lower lows currently right now it does indicate that price is potentially going to come down and test these lows down here in that $400 range. So first, I'm going to give you my downside, my bearish price targets for the end of 2021 for Bitcoin Cash. Uh, from this current range we're in right now, bring us down to that $400 range. It is about a 23% drop. And I do see that happening for the end of 2021. It could play out sometime in October or even right now. Uh, in the end of September. And if Bitcoin Cash does make a higher low compared to these lows back then in June and July, we get something around 350. Uh, that's even better because that would still give us a nice higher low and a potential bounce from that level. Come later on, that could be the one that we get to cross finally above that 200 day moving average that would bring us towards my bullish price targets. But let me give you my other bearish price target for Bitcoin Cash. So the first one, I do have right in this $400 range for Bitcoin Cash um, as the first low to happen uh, as we get into the end of 2021. The next low after that, if that level does not hold, then I'm looking for Bitcoin Cash to head back down towards this $300 level. Uh, that is where price consolidated quite a bit over the years. And that's where I would see price find some sort of support uh, as we get into the end of 2021. So those are my two bearish price targets is just right above $400 as one level, which does serve as a potential buy to dip level for the end of the year. But if that does not hold, then I do have the next one down here towards uh, the $300 range. But let's say Bitcoin Cash even comes down to that low and we do get a bounce or even a bounce from this current level. How high do I see Bitcoin Cash going 
uh, for the end of 2021. My two bullish price targets, I do have my first one here just at about $700. That would bring Bitcoin Cash finally back up testing that 200 day moving average range. And then the next level after that, I would be looking at about uh, this eight between 800 uh, to 900 dollars uh, for the end of the year and that would set up bitcoin cash to break out past one thousand dollars as we get into the beginning of 2022 and head back up to test those 2021 highs sometime in early 2022 and there's multiple scenarios on how i see things playing out first thing september has been a pretty bearish month overall for crypto so we could even continue to see the price drop come down to this 400 dollar level and then that's where we get the reversal uh, in October and start heading up, flip the 50 and the 21 day moving average, and then the 200 day moving average into support, consolidate, and then continue the push up as we get into December and close the year at a minimum of $800. The critical things you need to watch for though is the moving averages, uh, just how low is price trading below and if price does cross over above. And when it does, how is it consolidating? If we do get a nice bullish consolidation period like here, price crossed above then we will see a continuation of the run and just like right now if price does come back down four hundred dollars and the moving averages will also come down and if we do get a crossover let's say it's around that five hundred dollar range and price consolidates some bullish consolidation then we can't expect that to continue the breakout uh, bring us right back up eight hundred dollars is my first target minimum for 2021 end of year on the bullish side and then at least a test up towards uh, $1,000 to come if things flip bullish. But towards the downside, my eyes are on $400 and $300. And some more confirmation right now, looking here at the RSI on the daily uh, for Bitcoin Cash, you can see it is oversold. Stochastic is also down in that oversold range. And if you compare it to last times, uh, we did have a nice bounce. And if you look here, this one did not, which was under the moving averages. Uh, same thing with this current range we're in right now. Uh, then we can't expect the bounce to come uh, as soon as we start getting something, uh, some sort of consolidation here. And we see this RSI finally flip back up above 50 and price consolidate back up above the moving averages. Uh, then we will head up towards those bullish price targets. And last thing here, let me overview this. Uh, on the weekly chart, I did have my price target for 2021 at $1,800. It looks like we just barely missed it here at $1,600. Uh, it's still pretty great. So now I'm upgrading my price target for 2021. This one was just barely missed. But now since price did have a major correction, I am looking towards uh, $1,000 as the next high range to test uh, for 2021. But there you go. We're here right at the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. And since you did, make sure you give yourself a thumbs up by liking this video. I hope you found more value in it so you can come back and see more and more of our videos. Also, leave your comments below if you have any feedback, good or bad, or what you would like to see in future videos. And even when we get closer to the end of 2021, I'm going to come back to this analysis and we're going to talk about just how close we are to this current prediction we have right now. Thanks for choosing currency com and myself john for your crypto info charts analysis all that good stuff hope to see you back again i'm checking out for more trading videos just like this please subscribe to our channel